Welcome back everybody and on today's video I'm going to show you how to use the Sally Furt Strontium Test Kit. Yeah! And just keep in mind, this goes for any test kit, before you start testing for the Strontium, clean out your test file thoroughly it'll improve the accuracy of your test. And you may be wondering, hey, Bobby J, how could I make my own Sally for Strontium test kit instructional? Well, if you're wondering that, here, I'll show you. Just have a nice looking backdrop, a cover to one of my boxes, and a light here so you can see what the hell is going on. Here are the contents inside your Strontium test kit. We have five bottles. They're all labeled SR1 through SR5. So you should have five bottles. A blue measuring spoon, a labeled syringe with red tape on it, an unlabeled syringe with a pink plastic tip on it, and your water sample syringe. And last but not least, your clean test vial. Step one. You want to fill the test vial with two milliliters of aquarium water. Step two is kind of tricky. You have to add 20 drops of the SR1 bottle. And it's tricky because the bottle sometimes drops, double drops, and it's, it's just a pain. You, if you have the test kit, you'll see what I mean. But I'm going to put 20 drops in here right now. See that? That's what I'm talking about. And now you have to swirl gently for 10 seconds. One. All right, swirl it for 10 seconds. Now you need one level spoon of the SR2. Just one level spoon. You put that right inside the test vial. And then it says to swirl gently for five seconds. So I'm going to read the next step to you first before I do it. You fill the one milliliter syringe without the red label. That's this one here, the one with the pink tip on it. So you fill that with one milliliter of SR3, this stuff right here. So you want one milliliter of that in the syringe with the plastic pink tip on it, all right? And then you want to dose that whole one milliliter of SR3 and swirl gently for 20 seconds. If the color has changed to blue and remains so even after an additional 30 seconds, then the calcium concentration is far too low and should be corrected before doing strontium testing. Might sound confusing talking about calcium, but just bear with me, okay? It's just part of the test. It's, it's long and complicated. But anyways, we're going to put one milliliter of this right into the test tube. And if you can see it, but the black bottom of the black plunger has to be right at the one mil mark. We're going to add that all right to the test vial. Just like that. Now we have to uh, swirl it for 20 seconds. I'll probably just edit this part out. Maybe not. Actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm going to make you watch it swirl for 20 seconds. Now, the next step is you're going to fill that syringe up again. The syringe with the pink tip on it. With one milliliter of the SR3. Again. And then you're going to 
You're going to use one drop at a time and swirl gently for a few seconds after each drop until the color changes blue. And then it says, after the color changes blue, you want to swirl gently for another 15 seconds. It's likely that it'll change back again. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. Oh, that was two drops. Swirl it for a few seconds. And this is going to give us our calcium level of our tank. So it's almost like two tests for one kit here. And then you just keep doing this until it changes blue. Okay, once your test vial is blue and stays blue, and now I know my calcium is low, it's 400 in it's about 400 you have to go to step number seven we want to add 0.5 milliliters of the SR4 right here with this syringe that has the red tape around it so we're gonna add 0.5 milliliters of this there and then you just add that right to the test vial boom and then it should turn back to pink there it goes the next step is you want to add one level scoop of the SR5 powder to the test vial right here so you've got one level spoon put that right in there like that and then swirl it to it's dissolved once the powder dissolve, you want to let it sit for 12 to 15 minutes. I only got 12 minutes on the timer. I don't have that much time to waste here. I want to get this test done. So here we go. All right, so the uh, 12 minutes is kind of a long time to wait. So usually I do something productive like take a nap or drink a beer or something. But there we go. 12 minutes is up. Now on to the next step. Last step, you want to take your SR3 bottle out again and syringe with the plastic pink tip on it and fill it up to one milliliters of the SR3. You add it one drop at a time and you swirl gently for 20 seconds until the color changes. One drop at a time, that's it. No more, no less. And then we're going to wait until this changes from pink to a, I believe, blue color. Let's see here. Yep, until the color changes blue. All right. Okay, it's hard to tell in this lighting, but it turned blue. And remember, you have to do one drop at a time and swirl it for 20 seconds until this turns blue. And as you can see... The test vial, let's move the camera up, it's at 9.1, alright, and then I'm going to show you the chart they give you here for the kit, alright, so I'm at the bottom of the chart, which means my strontium is kind of low, alright, the highest I was able to get my tank up to, honestly, on this kit was 0.94 which is a level of 4 on the strontium but everything seemed to look a lot nicer after you know dosing strontium I think my tank was depleted of this trace element because I don't do a lot of water changes I just like to dose and just keep my nitrates and phosphates low that's all I have today for this video and if you want to watch more videos, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. There will be more to come in the future. And I do thank you for watching this video. And hope you have a great day. And I'll see you on the next Bobby J's Reef Tank. See ya.
Welcome back everybody. Oh, there's the camera over there. Sorry, I was looking the wrong way. I was looking over there. This is Sally Furt Strontium Test Kit 101. And I'm going to show you how to do... Welcome back. Oh wait, camera's over there. We're on camera two. Camera two. Oh, fuck. 